Within WordPress, we have the option of completely changing the theme of my site. And if I were to click on my web page itself, you can see the layout of everything that I see here as far as the text itself, where it's positioned, the tagline, the navigation bar, even the fonts, and, and everything that, that deals with the layout, the use of images, headers, and so forth, all have to deal with the theme that's in WordPress. And we can make a change to all of that, but still leave my content. And what I mean by my content is my pages, and the posts and all of that information can stay the same it's just it can be arranged in a different way by changing my themes and if you go to appearance you can click on themes to see a list of the themes that are available now by default we're using the 2010 theme which is a very nice customizable theme meaning we can change if you look here under my appearance we can change the header image which is the big bold image that I've got here the backgrounds and so forth 2010 is not the most current one. In 2011, we've got an option called 2011, which ends up being a really good uh, theme as well. It's very customizable. And we could do something like a search for them. In WordPress.com, they give us a couple options here. They actually list a whole lot of the themes that are available. Some of them are free and some of them are paid for. So you have to go through and kind of look to see which one's which. But a lot of these themes will completely change the way your website looks. And if I'm looking through here, just to kind of point out a couple of them here, like some of these will have different layouts as far as how many columns. This one looks like it's got my navigations all on the left hand side and I've got two different columns on the right hand side. So you, you kind of have to go through these and just look around and see which one you might want to try for your website. Now when you do find one, it's not going to be hard to activate it. Actually, all you need to do is click on the activate link. And so if we're looking through, you may find something. I'm looking for one now that's going to be called Spring Loaded, and if I can't find it in my search, what I could do here is just come up and type in something like a keyword for that, Spring, and I'll go ahead and hit search. Let's go ahead and take a look at what our results will be. And two, looks like two themes came up, one's called Spring Loaded and one's called Almost Spring. And I actually kind of like this layout that you'll see here, so I'm going to choose Activate. Now I want to point a couple things out, when I do activate my theme, I will lose some of my options and custom, custom being able, the ability to customize it the way that I want. Now, for whatever reason, I activated it, but it didn't look like it refreshed or reloaded my site, so I may have to click back on themes here. Let's see if it takes us back to, there it is. It says, now this one is currently the active theme. If I choose custom design, I can look at those particular options that I have available for this particular theme. Now, some of these are, are going to require paying for. If you're using WordPress.com, this is typically how it works, where they'll make you pay for something that you want to work with. If you are using something like your own hosted WordPress site, you usually will have the option of going in and changing your own CSS and customizing it the way that you want. And you can see that I have the options of saving my style sheet, buying upgrades, and so forth. So I don't have all of the options using the WordPress.com's free, free website as I would if I were to have a hosted WordPress site. In fact, you would usually see a, a link down here called Editor if it was a hosted WordPress site and you can actually edit all of the pages that are available for your themes. And the difference is, is with a hosted WordPress website, when you click on themes, you're not going to see all of the themes available. You actually have a link that you'll have to click on to install new themes. But I have just installed this new theme called Spring Loaded, and I just want to show you that I haven't really done anything other than installing the theme. If I come over to my website and refresh it, you're going to see a huge transformation of my particular website. I still have my title, Mountain Bike Adventures. I still have my tagline. They've, re they've arranged it basically on the left-hand side of my particular website. This one has an active search function or search widget plugin that we have here within my site. I still have my blast post that I had, Scott Scale 29 Elite. Still have my table that I had in there. Still have my other posts. If you'll notice, it actually had a function where it pulled out the date and it actually made this cool little thing here on the left hand side that's got the date of when this was posted for me and they've, they've basically created a graphic for that site. I still have all of that information, uh, the widgets that I have here on the right side, this is was, was default. You can still see now, this one here is still using some of my menu items. Now sometimes the menus will revert back to the, the old menu that was self-generated and you'll just have to go back into menus and tell it to use the new one that you created. This one actually carried it over which was kind of nice for us to work with. So really all of my content is here. The only thing that's different 
and let's click on contact us and you'll see that the contact us is here the only thing that's different is the theme so I can actually keep doing this over and over again until I find the theme that I actually want to work with so you can spend some time looking through and see the different options like I said different themes will have different options as far as its customizability to make it the way that you want on your particular WordPress website so this is the video on themes and I'm going to encourage you to go out there and find a theme that you really want to use and work with.